Hello, my name is Mark Sampson and I'm going to quickly show you how to use the Magic Subscriber software that I'm selling on eBay on a CD-ROM. When you get your CD, put it into your computer and this screen will load on a web browser and click My Purchases and here you'll see the page with your software on you get access to a user manual which is a PDF document if you wish to resell the software you get a reseller toolkit but in this video I'm just going to show you how to use the software so you just uh, left click on the software link and it will open up in a window such as and then you just need to install the software onto your computer by double clicking on this icon here and following the instructions. Now I've already done that you will get a shortcut on your desktop to the software so load up the software using that shortcut and you'll be presented with this screen. Now in this top box you enter in the text that you want to appear on the pop-up box when the visitor leaves sorry visits or leaves the website here you enter in the email address that the email will be sent to by your visitor now um, the most popular autoresponder service is Aweber and I use Aweber and you actually enter in the autoresponder email address if you want your subscriber to be to be subscribed to your Aweber list name. Now on Aweber you can have multiple lists um, and the autoresponder email address is simply your list name at aweber.com so for example I'll just go to my Aweber account if I want my subscriber to be subscribed to any of these list names the email address that goes in this box will be this list name at aweber.com so for example if I want this uh, visitor to be subscribed to Mark Sampson blog I enter in here Mark Sampson blog at aweber.com you don't really need to have anything in that box it is optional if you are having the email sent to your own personal email address uh, where you're going to send out your newsletters from um, you can actually have Outlook Express um, automatically put the emails into a folder and the instructions on how to do that are shown on the PDF but as most people use autoresponder services these days such as Aweber or GetResponse I'm not going to cover that in this video as the instructions for that are on the PDF document. Now here you actually put in the details for the button so this is the, the text that will show on the button and here you can actually show the colors of the button just for the purposes of this video I'm going to leave those as default. Now here you can actually show how frequently you want the pop-up box to appear to the visitor cookies are used in this instance so if you choose weekly a cookie will be put onto the visitors web browser and after the first time it pops up another the pop-up box won't appear again until a week later unless the visitor clears their cookies um, I'm going to show this as every time for the purposes of this video and I'm going to select both entry and exit for the purposes of this video. Now bear in mind if you click weekly and click both entry and exit the pop-up box won't pop up on exit because the cookie will have been put on the computer the, when the visitor first entered the website and therefore won't come up again until he or she leaves. That's all of the um, detail set up. If you want there to be a delay you can put a delay of the box by using this. I'm just going to leave that as zero so that it automatically pops up and now we simply generate the code. Now um, I've already set up a basic website for the purposes of this video to show you how this works. I'm just going to load that up in Dreamweaver which is the HTML software that I use. Now I've not actually 
uh, put the text, the, the code onto this website yet. Um, so what we do, we just go back to here and it says paste this code in between the head tags of your document. So we click on copy code, control and C to copy it, go back to Dreamweaver, go to code view, find the first head tag and what I would uh, suggest you do is put that text just above the title tags. Control and V to paste. And go back to the software. Paste this code anywhere on your web page where you want the button. So we click copy code, control and C. Go back to the website. Now click on design view. Put the cursor where you want the button to appear. Go back to code view and control and V again to paste the code. Uh, now bet, note that the button won't appear until it's live on the website. Go back to our software, paste this code as the body tag. Uh, there are further instructions on how to do this in the PDF, but if you've got a simple body tag, just click copy code, control and C, go back to your HTML editor. Uh, find the top body tag, which in my case is here, highlight it, control and V to paste over it, and that is the website edited with the code from the software. Now it's a good idea to save the document as a different name, just in case you made any errors, and for the purposes of this video I'm going to save it as test, and save. And now the next thing to do is to upload the website to your uh, web space. I'm going to assume that you already know how to do that. So I'm just going to do that off, off the video now. I have now uploaded the web, web page to my website. So I'm just going to go then now. And it should bring the pop-up box, there we go, on entry. And what you would do in this case is click OK and it will, well I'll show you in a second what it does, I won't do it there, just to show you how it works from the website, you uh, click on subscribe me now. This, this, the same thing as what's happening now would also happen when the visitor clicks on the OK box on the pop-up box as well. Now as you can see here, it's automatically entered in the email address that you've put in for the email to be sent to. So in this case it's marksampsonblog at aweber.com. All the visitor needs to do is click on the send button. Now what happens now in terms of Aweber is the email gets sent to that email address and Aweber will automatically email back um, an email asking the subscriber to confirm that they wish to be subscribed to this particular newsletter. This is called a double opt-in and those of you who are familiar with uh, newsletters and autoresponders will probably be familiar with how the not double opt-in works. So um, I'm just going to pause the video while I wait for that email to come back asking me to uh, double and, and confirm my email address. And here is the email that's been pinged back from Aweber automatically after me sending that email and um, as you can see all I need to do is click on the confirm the subscription and I'm automatically subscribed or the visitor is automatically then subscribed to the list. Now I, as I say I use Aweber I do not use any other autoresponder so the email address that you put into that box shown earlier you'll need to check with your autoresponder service uh, separately. So I hope you found this video useful and I hope that you um, get lots of, lots of subscribers to your newsletter using it. Thank you very much and good luck.